Hey, 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 everybody, what is going on? Serial Overdrive here, and today I'm playing Rust. What I want to do today is show you how Rust runs on my gaming laptop. So, first and foremost, let's talk about the specs. Right now, my computer is an HP Omen gaming laptop. It's got a Radon RX 580 for graphics card. It's got a Core i7 CPU that's running at about 2.4 gigahertz and it has about 12 gigs of RAM. I say about, but it actually has 12 gigs of RAM. I don't know why I said about. Anyways, 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 let's jump into how this game, or what settings this game is run on. So uh, let me pop out there. So as far as the graphics go, you can see everything here is maxed out. Everything's fully to 100, 200, 1,000, 2,500. I don't know how they set these to, these numbers, but they did. Max shader look, lights three, shadow qualities two, graphics qualities five. I don't know why that isn't 100, but whatever, you know. Basically, everything's maxed out, so this is as good as you can get for the graphics. Um, there's some, like, experimental stuff. I haven't messed with that. I don't even know what that's about. But this is as good as you can get with the graphics, in my opinion. So you can see right here, the grass is waving. When I walk past the grass, it's going to be displaced. When another player walks past the grass, it's going to be displaced. The game overall looks pretty good. You can see the fire effects are pretty decent compared to some of my other videos. And I'm going to go into sort of why a lot of my other videos are running a lower quality soon. But uh, let's uh, dive down into the tunnels because that's going to give us some interesting sort of lighting to look at here. Let's see if I can do this without dying. There we go. I did. All right. Um, so yeah, basically this is a game run on max settings. You can see right now my computer's not having any sort of issues with it. One thing I am going to note, because I think a lot of people, oh, do I not have a light? I don't have a light, do I? Alright, we're going we're gonna to go back up, folks, because it turns out I do not have my torch on me and I need that torch. So, um, anyways... Let's just ignore that that happened. Anyways, um, yeah, the game runs perfectly fine on this computer. On a newer HP Omen gaming laptop, this is going to run fine. If you've got a 10 series NVIDIA card, it's going to run perfectly fine. If you've even got an upper 900 series card, it's going to run awesome, okay? As far as specs go, if you're looking to max it out, that's sort of where you want to sit. Rust is an older game, so it's definitely not too hard to max it out on a modern-day computer. So I definitely recommend you guys check that out if you're... Well, not check it out, but I get, definitely recommend you guys do it. Like, don't don't hold back on buying the game just because your computer's not, like, the latest and greatest. You guys can see this is a slightly older computer, and I'm running it fine with no problems. One thing you're going to notice, Rust is one of those games that you play, like, for quite, quite an amount of time. So what's going to happen is the longer I play this game, the laggier it gets. And unfortunately, that does start to become an issue for me. If I set the settings down to sort of a lower quality... You know, if the, if the settings are a bit lower quality, I'm going to have no problem with it. So it shouldn't be one of those things that hinders you. It's just one of those things to note. If you've got a laptop or anything like that, a computer that tends to overheat a little bit more than uh, some of the other computers, you're probably going to run into some overheating issues. You're going to run into some lag issues as that computer has played the game for longer and longer. If you're just logging on for, you know, 30 minutes, you can run it on fantastic. The game's going to look beautiful. Even when I'm playing now, though, you can see a slight drop in frame rates here or there. Let me... Maybe I can get it if I shoot them. Let me just shoot this guy's base. Take him off a little bit, but it's okay. So there we go, there we go. So you saw a little bit of lag there when I pulled out the gun. Not too much of a lag, but a little bit. And you're just going to notice that getting worse and worse as time goes on. I'm not going to sit here and make you guys watch me play for an hour and a half until this happens. But you can definitely tell that it's not quite running at full spec anymore. I've been running the game now for about like 20 minutes. It takes me a while to record these videos, folks. All right, there we go. We've got a, who is this? Is this another player there? Yeah, he's being shot at, isn't he? What is going on here? I do not know what happened there, but uh, Oh no, now I'm being shot at. Really? Damn it. Alright, so the safe zone basically became unsafe. No big deal, no big deal. Let's get out of here. Um, anyways. Yeah, so this is sort of rust. This is it run on high settings. Uh, you can see, like, I've got... I don't have any problems with this. There's a little bit of lag here and there, but it's not too, too bad. It's nothing that's, uh... It's nothing that's gonna break the game for you guys. It's nothing that's gonna make you say, like, Oh my god, I can't play this game anymore. It's ju it just means you're probably going to have to turn the settings down as you play the game a little bit longer. Um, so yeah, that's about it. If you guys have any questions regarding whether or not you can run this game or anything like that, feel free, as always, to ask them down below in the comments section. Um, 
if you've got any other comments or anything like that that you'd leave, like to leave, again, feel free to leave them down below, and I'll uh, do my best to answer your questions and respond to your comments. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you want to help me out and support the channel, a like does a ton to get my videos viewed by more people, which is always good, right? And uh, if you subscribe, that's even better. But, you know, only subscribe if you like the videos I'm putting out, because I'm not really interested in having people watching my channel who aren't, you know, into my videos. Anyways, guys, like I was saying, thank you for watching, and uh, until next time, peace.